Hello and welcome, this is Killa911. Today will be our first episode in a building tutorial series. Today we will be building a simple cart design, just using some of the tips and tricks that I have. Hopefully preventing some bad things from happening, which always seems to happen to me, so uh, let's, let's get started here. Okay, so for this build, all we're going to need is some timbers, some wheels, some catch blocks, and then we will also put some, the small stockpile. So small stockpile for logs, small stockpile for timbers, stones, and ores. My first tip is going to be do not place these timbers directly on the ground. I always seem to have issues when I do place them directly on the ground where when you go to delete a timber above one that was in the ground it'll sometimes just hover there and it won't actually be a dynamic object. So usually what I do is I walk back a little bit and I just throw one down on the ground. Now as you can see here I've built a pretty flat surface for myself this is pretty important just so then all your parts don't make your vehicle go flying midway through. So as you can see, we can already push this thing around pretty pretty easily. Okay, so then we wanna we'll put a timber facing straight up. Now this isn't gonna be part of our cart. This will be the part that we delete when we are ready ready to be done. Okay, so I'll just put some timbers in here. Like I said, it's a pretty simple design. Okay, and then I'll put these guys here in the center. So then this is just going to help us place each of these um, stockpiles that we have here. So then at the very ends, we can place our cash blocks. I like placing them down, give it a little more clearance. Now you can also, you can use a scroll wheel, so anything with a plus next to it, like the timbers, if you use your scroll wheel, you can see it gets bigger and smaller. Um, and then with these catch blocks, it goes from a block like this to a one-sided catch block, which is nice because there's nothing on this side for it to get caught up on. And then to a extended catch block, which has one on both sides. So we can actually come in here and we'll use our scroll wheel and we will use the one-sided cash block. Okay, come around. There we go. And now we'll place our wheels on here. And the correct placement for wheels is like is not like that. Although when you have those extensions, it doesn't really much matter. But this is the correct way. The wheel should be flat on the outside. That was something I was doing wrong for a long time, but this is the correct way to do it. Okay, so now that all our wheels are on, we should be able to just drop her on the ground. Look at that, it's working perfectly. So then we can come in here and we can put some of our stockpiles just to show how they go on here. That is not the right direction. There we go. Okay, so that is going to number seven here. That's our small stockpile for ore, so obviously ore, iron ore will go on there. Uh, we'll also put our stockpile for stones. This one's pretty large. Now placing these down is sometimes a bit of a trick. There we go. And then we can place down stockpile for timbers. There we go. And finally, there is a stockpile for our logs. Look at that. Having those timbers right in the center really helps with getting the uh, each of the uh, stockpiles placed. Um, as you can see, this is one wider than it really needs to be, but it works nonetheless. So then we can come in here and we can delete out each of these sections that might just get in our way. Okay, so now there are going to be two ways that you can transport this around. One way, which is pretty common, you can make a little, pretty much a little cradle for yourself. Stop moving. Okay, and then with this cradle, go like this, and then you can jump inside of it. So you can, here we go. There we go. And I'll show this from the outside here, so we'll get our little camera. So as you can see, this moves pretty efficiently. You can turn 
pretty easily. The second way that you can do this is when you destroy all of these. You can come in here and you can you don't need to place these guys down. But you can come in here and when you look at something with your bare hand, so you have to press zero, you can see there's a little rope indicator on the right. So you can right click, and that gives you a rope. Now you do have to be careful about how heavy this gets. So you can see it kind of turns yellow and reddish. The further you are away, the more stress that's on the rope. So you can see this works pretty nicely and you can even turn turn pretty easily. But the problem with it, as you can see right there, is the rope will break. So that's why a lot of people like just making that little thing in the center that you can walk around in. Okay, as you can see, this is our simple cart design here. It can hold a little bit of everything from our ore to our stones to our timbers to our logs. Now, this cart design is, like I said, pretty much useful for anything, and it's pretty simple. This just kind of gives you the basics that we can work off of when we're making other devices. Thank you for joining us today, and I hopefully we'll see you on the next one.